Hi you guys, thanks for clicking on my video. Um, please be sure to take every single prophetic word to our Heavenly Father first. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing. So, I was just having a conversation with our Heavenly Father. And I was just like, Lord, I don't want nobody that don't want me. I don't want to feel as though I have to compete for no one. I don't want to feel as though you are literally forcing someone to be with me. I don't want to feel as though this person really would prefer to be with any and everybody else except for me. And God reminded me of a dream that he gave me recently. And in this dream, I was um, near the ocean and I had the knowing that I was on my land and there were three houses on my land. Each house was completely different, but each was equally huge and beautiful. And he told me, all three of these houses are yours. If one doesn't work out, know that you have options. Know that you are not going to be kind of, you are not going to be someone's last choice. You are not going to be, um, God is not going to put you in a position where you just have to be with that one person and otherwise your destiny won't be fulfilled. God is like, no, darling, your destiny will be fulfilled regardless. I will give you someone else. Um, don't allow the enemy that is using that person to make you think that is that way or no way. There are several other options for you. The scripture God gives me comes from Zechariah 14 and 6. On that day, there shall no longer be cold or frost. There shall be continuous day known to the Lord, not day and night, for in the evening time there shall be light. And I feel like, y'all, God is saying that if he has promised you that from this point on, he is going to bless you, he is going to bless you. The enemy cannot um, jump in and send your spouse a counterfeit and turn them away and, you know, take away the blessing that you have on your life. Your blessing still stands. If your spouse refuses to be with you, if your spouse insists on being with the counterfeit, that is their loss, not yours. If your spouse insists on not going along with God's plan, they are choosing the worldly route, not you. And God is not going to punish you for their actions. That is going to be on them, okay? And, um, yeah, y'all, um, God is calling me to say, I know that it can be confusing. Honestly, I'm just a prophet of God. I'm just the vessel that God uses. So, me, myself, in my own personal life, I am staying prayed up, y'all. Like I said yesterday, the enemy, like, since I've been putting forth the effort to live my life for God and, you know, being celibate and preaching the word and doing all of this work for God, the enemy has been like, you know, on my tail, okay? On my tail, like, y'all don't even understand how many different parts of my life the enemy is just trying to harass me. But God, okay, but God, and God is saying, if your spouse does happen to fall for the counterfeit and you are like, in my position, it's like, I don't want to wait, okay, I'm 30, I know God can do all things, but I want more children, I want to be married, I don't want to be sitting around waiting for anyone simply because they refuse to listen to God. And God is saying, there are choices. Yes, it will be better for you to be with the person I made for you, but there are choices. It is not just, basically, your spouse is not the only spouse that has decided to go with the counterfeit. And that means there are other people whose spouses decided to go with the counterfeit who are sitting there like, what do I do? And God is like, I will bring 
some of these people together so that they can have someone because it is not fair for my children to be alone. It is not good for man to be alone. So one person is not gonna be alone just because the other person is steady trying to go after the counterfeit. I hope this helps someone. I hope this makes sense. If it doesn't, please take it to the Father, pray to him, and I pray that he will give you understanding. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. This is